I also think both of them have used bots via UMG, whether they knew it or not. Drake! Now, I fear the verdict is in. The people are saying that Drake looks soft suing after the beef. Even if the lawsuit is not directly at Kendrick Lamar, because it has something to do with the beef, people are looking at Drake like, bro, you a sore loser. Now you want to sue. With that being said, we got Rory and no, just Rory, no Ma. And he is coming through to give his reaction of the lawsuit, okay? A lot of celebrities been talking about this. So let's see what Rory got to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. I also think both of them have used bots via UMG, whether they knew it or not. What stood out to me in that paperwork was the accusation that UMG lowered their licensing rate by 30% for Not Like Us. Just a quick, quick history lesson. How we even got to the value of what a stream is was based off Spotify and the three majors negotiating on what that value would be. What makes it even crazier is all three majors have actual stock and ownership within Spotify. That would be illegal in any other business in the world, but it's a music industry, so anything can fly. I'll, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public, and they emailed all of us as employees and said, you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading. Now imagine you're an artist and you know that the people that own your music plus the people that distribute your music, which is a whole separate tech company, are in cahoots to define what a dollar means within the music industry. And then you later find out that for one artist in one song, they devalued that dollar. You wouldn't have an issue with it? Now, first off, Rory living good. White interior, paintings on the wall. That painting is as pink as his face, okay? Shout out to Rory getting that money after the Joe Button podcast. Joe, look at how your ex co host living without you, boy. They didn't need you. <laughs> now, look, Rory got a point. And the fact that he brought up that all of these labels got stake in Spotify, that's crazy. And then told the workers that they couldn't buy any type of stake because that would be insider trading, but they can do it. It's okay. That's crazy too. But when he talks about devaluing the worth of that song, that basically helps not like us get more streams, more promotion, more backing so it can continue to do what Not Like Us did, which is basically sell a lot of records and also deface or defame Drake. And that does look a certain way. You can have a conversation about whether or not Kendrick knew about the bots. You can have a conversation about Drake is just crying because he lost the uh, the beef. But in the business world, certain shit just cannot stand. And I know it's hard for people to feel bad for Drake because Drake is still a billionaire. So it's like, what are you even suing for to a lot of the regular fans out there? But I'm going to tell you this. When you let one small thing go, certain people, certain companies, certain organizations... They'll keep coming back and trying to see what they can get away with. And I think people don't care, but you got to understand that Drake is like what Jay-Z said. I'm a business man. Let me handle my business. Damn. I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Drake is a whole damn Fortune 500 company by himself. Unfortunately, he has to stand up for not only his business, but the business of everybody who makes money off of his business. I hope that didn't go over your head. And unfortunately for Drake, this is it's making him look bad to the public, especially after the beef, but I think it's a... 
sacrifice that he has to make because he's the boss. And I don't think in his mind, when it comes to business, he can let this slide. Now, another thing is, remember, when Drake was getting sued for the Tupac thing and using the AI, nobody had an issue. But now when Drake need to handle his business, it's a lot of people, you know, calling him out and saying he took an L. I'm looking at a comment on my phone from the last person. Shout out to Greedy Me Number One. He said this L will be televised. He talking about Drake and saying he took an L for this lawsuit. So, like I said, the people have spoken. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.